Hi everyone, this is Zuleika from Edureka. I welcome you to today's live session which is dedicated to full stack web development. So guys, becoming a full stack web developer is no less than becoming a superhero. It involves continuous dedicated practice and a strong will to learn. With this in mind, let me run you through today's agenda. So guys, before we move any further, can I get a quick confirmation if I'm audible or not? All right, uh, seems like we're good to go. So guys, we're gonna begin this session by understanding who a full stack web developer is. Next, we'll see why you should practice full stack web development. After that, we look at a few job descriptions of full stack web development. Then we'll discuss the various skills needed to become a full stack web developer. Finally, I'll show you how to create an impressive full stack developer resume. So guys, without wasting any time, let's get started. I'm sure all of you must have heard of front end web developers and back end web developers. But who is a full stack web developer? The term full stack developer was popularized in a seminar around eight years ago when Facebook announced that they're looking to hire only full stack web developers. A full stack web developer must have an understanding of how the web works at each and every level, including setting up and configuring Linux or Windows servers, coding server side APIs, running the client side of the application by using JavaScript, and structuring and designing the web page with CSS and HTML. To become a full stack developer, you must be an expert in scripting languages like HTML, JavaScript, and CSS, which are used to make the web look interactive and alive. You must also have a good understanding of high level programming languages such as Java, Python, or Ruby to code the server side. Apart from this, you also require experience in working with JavaScript frameworks like Node.js and libraries like jQuery. Operating and managing databases like MySQL, SQL, and Mongo database is also a must needed skill. So guys, a full stack developer is like the jack of all trades. Whether it's front end development or back end development, a full stack developer understands all the aspects involved in building the web. Now let's move ahead and discuss a few reasons why you should consider becoming a full stack web developer. A full stack developer is like the Stephen Hawking's of web development. So after mastering various scripting and programming languages and working with several frameworks and libraries, a full stack developer is no less than a master. Of course, you require to have work experience and a lot of knowledge, but nothing is unachievable if you have the will to do it. One of the best things about working as a full stack developer is that you're not restricted to only development. As a full stack developer, you can design and style your application. And if you're bored of designing, you can use your developer skills to create a functional and a bug free application. A full stack developer is a creative person who can both develop and design an application. So guys, a full stack developer handles everything from front end development to back end development to back end server management as a part of their job role. This is exactly why organizations are employing full stack developers to grow and expand their digital assets. A few leading companies that employ full stack developers include Apple, which pays around $193,000. There's also General Assembly with a pay scale of $128,000 and other companies such as Coding Dojo and When I Work pay around $85,000 to full stack developers. So guys, full stack developers is undoubtedly a promising career option. Apart from that, the US Bureau of Labor Statistics anticipates that jobs in full stack development will rise from $135,000 to more than 855,000 by 2024. Furthermore, according to a recent report by Indeed, jobs from a full stack developer rank at number two as per their scores. All right, so full stack developers are in high demand owing to their diverse coding skills. So guys, organizations prefer to invest in one full stack developer instead of hiring two or three engineers to do the same job. 
so for those of you who are, who are looking for a competitive job full stack development is a smart and ideal career choice now i'm going to show you a couple of job descriptions to make you understand what exactly industries look for in a full stack web developer this job description i've taken from ibm so guys on the right hand side i've highlighted the key skills they are looking for in a full stack developer starting from front end development where languages like html and css are a must then knowledge is about uh, javascript frameworks like angular and react js is an important requirement because these frameworks bring life and motion to the web next we have back end or scripting languages like python java ruby and frameworks such as node js which are used to code the server side operating and managing databases like sql and no sql are the basic requirements needed to retrieve push edit and pull data from the databases it is also necessary to understand what is rest api and why it is important in regards to the http protocol and web applications finally operating a version control system such as git is mandatory now the next job description i've taken from mobiquity so in order to design and develop web applications you can make use of frameworks like node.js which work for both the front end and the back end now again here we have scripting languages like html css and javascript for front end development they've also mentioned frameworks like angular and react js which help to build and design complex web structures guys here they've stressed on other javascript frameworks as well including express babel and so on these frameworks make it very easy to implement javascript finally they mentioned about no sql databases like mongo database which is one of the most important database management systems now here i've taken down the key points that actually industries look for in a full stack web developer firstly we have front end technologies all right this includes uh, scripting languages like html css and javascript so guys the front end basically helps you interact with the web so it lets you watch videos perform actions like register to an online shopping site and so on so whenever you're surfing a website the different fonts the images and the content of the website forms the presentation or the front end of that website so basically the design the look the feel of the web is accomplished with the help of html css and javascript next we have back end technologies now this includes server side scripting languages like python java php and so on you also have various javascript frameworks like node js which help in back end performance the back end forms a dynamic connection between the front end and the database so basically every time you look in the web or you search in the web it's the back end layer that transmits your requirement to the database and then returns whatever you searched for so guys all of this is powered by a web server and in order to get this layer working it's important to know at least one of the programming languages such as python java or c# hash. next we have the database management the data layer is a massive warehouse of information it contains a database repository which captures and stores information from the front end through the back end a prerequisite here is to have knowledge of how data is stored edited retrieved and etc so various databases such as mysql mongo database are a must over here after that you also need to be familiar with frameworks like bootstrap angular js and ember js which make the website look more interactive and alive apart from that libraries like jquery also help to package code into a lightweight and compatible form next up we have the http protocols now http is basically a stateless application protocol on the internet which allows the client to communicate with the server so basically it lets the communication happen between the front end of your web page and the back end now there are a lot of developers out there who don't know much about http but guys it's a quite essential requirement to have an understanding about http and how the internet works it is also necessary to understand what is rest and why it is important in regards to the http and web applications finally we have version control systems 
Now, a version control system basically keeps a track of all the changes that you make to your code or maybe your document or any sort of file. Okay. Now, most industries prefer a version control system such as Git. In addition to all of the skills that I just mentioned, it is a must to have a prior knowledge about running the application on operating systems like Linux, Windows and so on. Because guys, at the end of the day, all of this runs on top of an operating system. So that sums up the skill set of a full stack developer. Now let's move ahead and discuss the salary aspects of a full stack web developer. Now, obviously, if you have such a wide variety of skills, you're expected to achieve a fat paycheck. OK, so let's have a look at how much a full stack web developer earns. I've taken this data from resources like Indeed, Payscale and Glassdoor. So guys, obviously, there are multiple factors which affect salaries such as your geography, skills, experience and all of that. OK, so it varies depending on these factors. Here, if you see, according to geography, the salary of a full stack developer varies. So in Bangalore, on an average, a full stack web developer earns around 7 lakhs per annum. Similarly, in Delhi, it's around 6 lakhs. And the numbers are on your screen. So in San Francisco, New York and Washington state, you can earn around $130,000. So like I mentioned earlier, the salary depends on your skill set and your experience. So if you have more experience with web development, you'll get a quicker hike. All right. Now let's move ahead and look at a sample resume of a full stack web developer and how you can create an impressive full stack developer resume. So guys, notice the skill sets that I mentioned earlier. You're expected to have a decent amount of knowledge about how the front end, back end and the database operates. You must always start a resume with an impressive introduction. Okay, so let's read out what I've written. Full stack web developer with N plus years of hands on experience in front end and back end development. Proficient with various web development frameworks and libraries. So here I've not only mentioned the experience of working on the front end and the back end technologies, I've also mentioned proficiency in the different web development frameworks. This makes an impressive introduction because most of the companies are looking for professionals with a knowledge on different frameworks and libraries. All right, so the frameworks and libraries form a core part of web development. After that, I've listed the education field. Uh, you guys can go ahead and fill this accordingly. The next field is your experience as a full stack web developer. Now I've mentioned database experience with MySQL, MongoDB and so on. I've also mentioned my ex the experience as a web developer for analyzing, developing and implementing web based applications. Experience with Laravel and Ruby on Rails is also a plus point and also having experience with source control management systems like Git. Now you guys can list down your experience with the tools you've worked on and you can also mention any sort of projects that you've created over here. Okay. Now the next is the skill set. So guys, this is exactly where you must impress the company with all the tools that you've worked on and the languages that you know. So I've mentioned proficiency in PHP, Ruby, HTML and JavaScript, a strong and sound understanding of CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, JSON and so on. Also being familiar with HTTP protocol is always a plus point and a strong background in Linux, Apache and MySQL. So guys, these are the skill sets that we discussed earlier. So this is exactly how you create an impressive full stack developer resume. Now guys, if you have any other questions in mind, go ahead and ask them in the live chat. Also, if you're wondering where to master these full stack web development skills, you can check out our full stack web development masters training, which gives you 200 plus hours of interactive learning and nine courses, which will set you on the path of becoming a successful full stack web developer. So guys, this is how the program is structured. It begins with a couple of courses on web development to cover the various scripting languages like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and all of the basics of web development. Then you have a course on jQuery user interface. This covers concepts like jQuery events, effects, plugins, and so on. Now the next two modules cover the most widely used frameworks like Angular and Node.js. OK, so there's an in-depth understanding about Angular and Node.js, their architecture, how they work with uh, JavaScript and all of that. 
The last module covers all the aspects of the Mongo database such as its architecture and how you can use this to retrieve, pull and gather information. Now, uh, these are the free self-placed uh, courses that you get along with the full stack master's course. So you have a course on React.js with the Redux, you have PHP and MySQL database, you have Git and you also have a course on cloud computing fundamentals. Also at the end of each module, you'll be given projects and assignments based on real world problems. So guys, we believe in practical, um, um, practical approach. Okay, so we make sure that at the end of each module, you're given assignments and projects so that we can test your knowledge on the concepts. Now, at the end of this uh, course, you'll be given a certificate of completion, which you can upload on your LinkedIn profile with a click of a button. Also, Edureka provides corporate training. So a lot of companies get their employees trained at Edureka. So guys, this is certificate is recognized all over the world. Now, before we end this session, here are some unique features that Edureka provides you once you've enrolled for the course. So you get instru instructor led live sessions, you get class recordings, you get lifetime access to the entire course. And there's also a 24 bar seven support team available that will help you out with any technical issues or any installation issues. You'll also be exposed to industry level projects and you'll get a verified certificate from Edureka. So guys, if you're interested in enrolling for this course, please leave your email IDs in the live chat and we'll get back to you with the details of the course. Now, before I end the session, I would like to show you the full stack uh, master's program that is offered by Edureka. So this is our program uh, schedule. We have five modules over here, like I discussed earlier, web development, jQuery, UI development, Angular, Node.js and MongoDB. Apart from this, you'll also get five free elective courses. Okay, these are self-paced courses. So these are, this is basically the course curriculum for each of the course. You have React.js with Redux, you have PHP and MySQL, you have Git and GitHub and fundamentals of cloud computing. At the end of the course, on completing the entire course, you're going to get a certificate with your name on it. And uh, guys, our course is very flexible because you can choose your batch according to your requirements. You, we, we can assign an uh, instructor to you uh, re uh, regarding your requirements. All right. So guys, with this, we come to the end of today's live session. I hope all of you had a good time and thank you so much for watching. And if you have any queries, please leave them in the comment section. We'll try to answer them.